that way. Okay. Hi everyone. My name is Steph or Lauren if you're coming from my Tumblr. And I am the producer and playwright of Shadayim, which is a new full-length play which will be coming to the Tampa Bay Theater Festival. It's going to be at the HCC Studio Theater on Saturday, September 3rd at 7.30 p.m. Here's our postcard. We have a postcard. It's awesome. Might be backwards. I don't know. I don't know how these things work. Anyway. Um, I'll hopefully be making another video with our director and actors, but in the meantime, I figure I'll just give you like a brief intro. Uh, so first off, Shadayim is a Hebrew word, which I am not going to define because they define it over the course of the show. Um, although I believe they might define it in an episode of Coupling, which I don't watch, but people have been telling me this. For those of you who are upset that I don't watch Coupling, I'm sorry. I'll, maybe I'll watch it at some point. But anyway, it's pronounced Shadayim, not Shadam or Shadium or what other other creative ways people have tried to say it. Um, I mean, <laughs> it's probably pronounced differently in Hebrew. It's probably like Shadim, Shadayim, Shadayim. That's Nick, by the way. Hey, Nick. Nick, do you want to be on camera? Hey, say hi. Say hi, Nick. He doesn't want to be on camera. He'll probably knock the camera over. Anyway. <laughs> hey, Nick. Wait, is that Nick? That is Nick. Hi, Nick. Anyway, sorry about that. Um, so it's possibly like Shadaim in Hebrew, but we're going to use the whole American Jew thing and just say sh uh. Hi. Hi, mister. And just say Shadaim. Um, anyway, so Shadaim is a full-length play of... <laughs> Unfortunately, there aren't that many cats in the play. Um just on camera. Anyway, um, Shadayim's a full-length play about four Jewish women sitting Shiva. Uh, for you non-Jews, uh, Shiva is a seven-day mourning period after someone dies. Um, unlike Christian, I said that way too happily. Um, okay, so Shiva is a seven-day mor seven mourning period after a Jewish person dies. Um, unlike Christians, Jewish, for Jewish funerals, God, you can tell I'm not a camera person. Um, must be held within 48 hours after the time of death. You got the cat butt. Um, and so there are a lot of rules regarding set mourning times. Um, so you have the funeral, then you have seven days of Shiva, and I believe there's a month after Shiva, another 11 months, and so on. Um, it's ideally to give mourners a time to grieve and pay their respects. So the first seven days is called Shiva. Um, during Shiva, the immediate family, um, so the uh, parents, children, spouses, and siblings of the um, deceased, uh, they can't drive or cook or work or do a lot of other things that you do on a daily basis and just take for granted. So other friends and family frequently come by to pay their respects and support the mourners with food and conversation and things like that. Okay, so brings me to Shadayim. The two families in Shadayim um, are the Feldmans and the Solomons. The Feldmans are the ones who are sitting Shiva. Um, in this case, it's Zoe and Michelle Feldman. They're mourning their mother. Um, the Solomons are their cousins. Um, so that, you know, that brief intro, yeah, that's their situation, but they're not quite what you'd expect from that. Um, I don't want to spoil too much, but you find out pretty quickly that Zoe Feldman is an internet cam whore, which is kind of like a porn star for those of you who totally never, under any circumstances, watch porn. I'm sure there are maybe like two of you in my audience. Anyway, um, so her somewhat control freak sister, Michelle, can't stand that she's a cam whore, like at all. Um, well, Zoe doesn't need to see the doesn't really see the need to stop any of that because she's sitting Shiva for her mother. But then you know, I mean, Michelle's near obsessive need to cook and clean for everyone means that she's not exactly keeping Shiva either. But you know, whatever. Um, so the Solomons come in. They're Sarah and sorry, these are Sarah and Leia, the cousins of Zoe and Michelle Feldman. Um, they've come in for the week to support the Feldman family, um, and within that you learn pretty quickly that Sarah, who's the older and devout sister, is planning on moving to Israel in the next few months. Um, her younger sister, Leah, doesn't seem too happy about that, um, or about Sarah in general. Um, Leah 
is, keep looking at my notes, Leia's kind of your typical rebellious teenager. She's a huge, huge fan of Zoe's, the porn star, you know, which Michelle and Sarah don't really like. Um, also, Sarah, we figure out pretty quickly, is hiding her own secrets, which you find out throughout the course of the play, so Leia's rebellion's not entirely random. Um, okay, so details. The whole play takes place in a kitchen. Um, it's all very intimate. Without spoiling too much, it touches on a lot of feminist and Jewish, obviously, and LGBTQIA plus themes. Um, so if you have any interest in any of those, plays for you. Um, but it's more than just like an, in an issue play. Um, so uh, the actors have basically become their characters over the course of the rehearsal period. None of them really feel like they're acting to me. They just feel like people which is good, although they're fantastic actors, so that's probably why. Um, and a lot of that also has to do with our director, Cami Riviezo, I hope that's how you pronounce it, who is also playing Sarah. And honestly, once you get out of my own weird head, she has one of the strongest connections to the material of anyone I've ever met, which is wonderful. Um, okay, so we did this play in Orlando back in February and I'm gonna put some links in the comments with reviews for that production, but you know, for those of you who did get to see it in Orlando, which are not most of the people watching this video, I feel like, it's a completely different ball game from the, with this time around, you know, different actors, different director, totally worth seeing again, it's just awesome. Don't take my word for it though. Um, let's see what's next on my notes. Right, okay, um, final note. Um, because of the play's strong connection to the LGBTQIA commu plus community, um, the fact that, you know, we're all from Orlando and the surrounding area, we're going to use this play to support Pulse. Um, so we got t-shirts. One says Bi-Fi. And then Shadayam logo shirts right there. We're going to be selling these shirts at the festival. 100% of the proceeds from the shirts, it's 100% every single cent we make on those, um, will be going to the One Orlando Fund. Um, so definitely come check us out, buy a t-shirt, see the show, laugh, cry, everything. Um, anyway, so thanks for listening to me ramble. I'm gonna put links below. Um, if you wanna to go to our Facebook page, it's facebook.com slash play. Again, that's facebook.com slash play. Um, and hope to see you all there. Say bye, Nick. Nick's our mask. Where are you? Say bye. He's not interested. Bye, everyone.